December 16th, yes, 2010, <laughs> and this is pouring out. Hey guys, hey family and friends. It's great to actually have another blog video coming out to you guys here in December. Christmas is only about a week away. And so we wanted to give you guys an update to see how things are going, doing. And I have two guests with me. I have Vita and I have Kyle. And they are part of a team that we had come in October, but they've also come back here in December in the, last, in the first couple weeks or whichever. Yeah. It's last week. So what I wanted to do is really just have them on here um, kind of talk about the ministry that they've been doing, kind of the work that they've been up to, and how, uh, how that kind of benefits our ministry here in Bosnia and Herzegovina as well. So first of all, I just want to ask, where are you guys from? I'm from Northern Ireland. And I'm from Munz. And so this team is a mixture of different people from different places. We have, there's a girl from Chile, a couple girls from Finland, we have a girl from America, and we also have a guy from South Korea. So this is a huge mixture of different cultures, and they've been on the road for how long? Since July, we started in Transform. And since Transform, we went to France, Portugal, Spain, Italy, Bosnia, Montenegro, and now we are back in Sarajevo. So about six countries I'm counting? Yes. Excellent. So yeah, so this is a part of a program that Operation Mobilization does, and it's called Transit. And so they have a group of people who will go out for six months or so, and you guys will see the ministry that some of the teams are doing, also try and help us out. But at the same time, I think it's really beneficial for you guys to kind of get an idea of how this type of ministry works, how Operation Mobilization is doing, and also seeing just how the church has been going too, I think, in many parts of Europe. So of all the questions that I have, I think the first thing I want to ask you guys is just, how uh, how have you seen God at work in your team, but also in the ministry that you guys have been doing these last few months? Well, well, um, we've seen God at work in quite a few ways, to be honest, in our team especially, um, with different cultures and all that sort of stuff, with different personalities, different cultures, all fired into one van for five months. is quite difficult. And all your luggage. And all our luggage too, on top. Six of that. months. Yeah. Four girls. All luggage. That's a lot of luggage. Four girls. <laughs> yeah. Makeup it's and terrible. stuff. It's very difficult, but also God's done stuff through ministry as well. He's he's put us in a lot of positions with people we've just met by chance, by sheer divine appointment through God. There's many stories are like that. We've made contact with these people and really shared the gospel with them and so on and so forth. And it's been very good like that too. God's put us in positions all the time. We would never be expected to be. Yeah, and that's and I think for Vanessa and myself here too, this whole time while we've been living in Bosnia. Um, just the timing on everything when you accidentally run into people that you've met before um, just I mean just trying to get across town and just the way things happen it is really I've noticed a lot too just this divine appointment in yeah. terms of perfect timing and you just look at it and you're like wow okay God obviously had this planned out or obviously mm -hmm. had this taken care of so do you have anything else that you want to add on top of you know working within your team um, and the ministry and everything besides that God's open a lot of doors, mm -hmm. and I guess, or I learned a lot of patience, patience within the team, and sometimes really difficult to how other cultures and other countries work, and so it's sometimes really hard, it's fun to work with other cultures, so it's All good. Right. And so, yeah. since you guys have been working with us in, in Bosnia as well, what, I guess, what are your thoughts on Bosnia? What are your thoughts and, you know, how the culture is here, how the people have been here, and what was sort of some of the things that you loved or maybe even disliked about how it is here? I guess it's really important for them to meet each other and to talk with each other, drink coffee, most coffee. important thing, I guess, here in Bosnia. And they are, you, they are really easy to talk with, so if you just go to them and speak English, then... Immediately they yeah, want yeah. to have a conversation. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. especially in Sarajevo. I mean, when when people hear you speaking English walking down the street, they kind of turn their heads like, mm -hmm. "Those people speaking yeah. English," and that's what's really been cool because a lot of people want to learn English, and so it's great opportunity for us to speak with them and even help them in learning their English too. Anything from you, Kyle? Yeah, coffee. Definitely coffee. What Vita says. That's coffee. what I love so much. You walk up to any young person and say, "Do you want to go for coffee?" They will answer back in English and say yes. Mm -hmm. And there you go, you've got a friend. Yeah, I, it's, it's very easy to do that. Brilliant. I think that's, yeah, especially with the young adults here, a lot of them, 
all the meetings I go to, when we go to meet friends, it's usually at a coffee. It's usually at drinking coffee and just talking. It's just a way for them, you know, to sit and talk with you. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Um, and two, I guess, I want to know how old are you guys as well in terms of, like, being on the road six months and where you're at and everything. Well, I'm 18. 18. I thought he was 19 the other day, but I realized he was 18. That's pretty crazy. I am almost 22. You mean 22. Yeah. It's 21 and a half. Definitely cool. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I think, yeah, for Vanessa and I, I think for our team here too, it's really exciting just to see um, more young adults involved in going out and, and being part of ministry and everything like that. And we really hope that more people will be involved. More people will have opportunity, not even going to like different countries, but even in your own country, at your own church, being involved in ministry that's there and being a, a part of it. Um, because really there's no restriction on terms in terms of how old you are and, and everything that you've experienced. You can do, there's work to be done. There's things to be done. And so it was really uh, just encouraging for us to see these guys taking those six months um, to, to learn, to go through crazy events. I mean, your van's probably been causing more problems than anything on this trip, I guess. Is there any, do you have any crazy stories about your van? Like going through Montenegro, where, what's... The first day that we started driving, the exhaust fell off. Yep. The first so week or first, first, day. Day. first, first day. day? Okay. So that was, I guess, a really good the start. The whole exhaust. Just the whole yeah. exhaust fell off. I just <laughs> on the border with Italy and France and the little place where we stayed. Then almost nobody spoke English. And so wow. it was really difficult to, and nobody of the team spoke, speak. Friends or Italian, Italian. So stuck it, there for a week. Yeah. So seriously, right? yeah. But you guys got through it. Oh, we got through. Yeah. It. You got we through. Could, it. Somehow we got through it. Yeah. Goodness, we got through. That's really cool. Yes, yeah, I mean that's a picture of how ministry can be here too, man. You yeah. can be working really hard, and things could just totally go wrong, yeah. go the way you don't expect it to be, mm-hmm. and you're kind of getting frustrated too. Yeah. So cool. That's really cool. But. I guess as for our ministry here in Bosnia and Herzegovina, winter's finally come. Um, like two weeks, just last week, we finally got snow. It was warm. It was warm through November. We didn't know what was going to happen, and we finally got this cold spell. Finally got to see some yeah. snow. Unfortunately, the ski lifts weren't open this week for no, you guys to no. try out. Shameful. Shameful. We went twice. They were closed. They were closed. But we, we played in the snow. It's good enough. That's good, That's good yeah. enough, definitely. Good enough. Yeah. And so, from what we hear, it's going to be a really cold winter. Vanessa's already dreading it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and thankfully, we've been we've been blessed to, we're going to be taking care of one of our friend's cars while they're back in the States. And so it's a huge blessing for Vanessa and I to be able to um, even go far out farther in town and you be able to visit teammates in other towns as well. Um, we just had a couple of our friends leave here from Sarajevo and head up to Bihach to help the team there. And so things are going well. Um, it's been still really busy. We thought things were going to slow down, but it's still kind of just churning you know it's already going to be january next thing we know we're going to be back in the states and so again we're planning to be back home in june of next year and we'll be back for the next three months just trying to build up some more support um tell people about the work we're doing but also see our friends and family as well so again guys we really appreciate you taking the time just to check out our video blog thanks again to kyle and vita for uh, just taking the time to let, share with you guys what's being done here, um, how ministry is looking, but also opportunities to do ministry too. So if you want more information with how what the transit team does, you can check it out at om.org. I think they have, there's got to be a link somewhere in there yeah. for that. And you guys have a blog as well? Yeah, we've got a blog. Yes. We, our blog is transitteam2.blogspot.com. Transit team, the number two. Two, yeah, number two. Dot blogspot.com. Cool. Yep. And again, um, you guys can check for updates at pouringout.org. Um, we'll be having a newsletter soon, hopefully this next week for you guys. And again, uh, thank you for your support, for your prayers. And we'll see you guys next time on Pouring Out. So we'll see you guys in January. See you later. Ciao. Ciao.